What's going on, collectors? I know y'all hear my kids in the background. <clears throat> Ancestors of a highest good and light. Thank you so much for this quick message. It's Saturday for me in the U.S. Today is March 2nd. Um, let's see what messages Spirit want to say to you. It's raining, so I always love to do <clears throat> readings during the time that it's raining because I feel like those are like renewal, cleansing messages, okay? Something new, something fresh. All right, three of swords in reverse, renewal, reunion, what's going on? I mean, it's also getting over um, some kind of grief, okay? <clears throat> Thank you, Spirit. Okay, one more. One more, thank you. All right, at the bottom of the deck, we have the Five of Wands. Okay, so it's some type of conflict or struggle. Okay, all right, so we have the Fool, we have communication, we have the Tower. That's that con conflict. <clears throat> okay. So, and then we have what's hidden, two of pentacles with the two of swords, okay? Um, somebody definitely is trying to decide if they want to call you and try to work things out, but they're not sure. <clears throat> they're not sure. And that's what this conflict is about. There was some type of argument, disagreement. There was some type of conflict um, that caused you and this person to, <clears throat> you know, um, not be on the same page. And they want to, you know, they're trying to decide if they want to come in and take a risk and contact you. So, <clears throat> let me see what was, or what could be, what is hidden. Thank you, Spirit. What is hidden in this um, communication? What, what happened? Oh my goodness, nobody don't want to say. <clears throat> what happened, Spirit? Clarify. Mm, thank you. Your feelings, okay. Cancer energy, attitudes. <laughs> <laughs> it says it right here, y'all. Right? Hold on. Um, attitudes from the past about use your intuition and... Mm, I thought I saw another one flip over. <clears throat> dang, dang, dang. <laughs> so this could have been a home dispute. Something that happened in the home. Or something... Uh, emotional dispute. Um... We have immediately, wow, the way you project yourself, do it on your own. So, Okay, so I'm picking up that um, this is about somebody's ego and insecurities. And something is going to happen in either your life or theirs that is going to push them to communicate with you.
And I feel like what they want to talk about happened a while ago. It happened a while ago. It happened um, some time ago. Because this is like a out on a whim. This is like somebody just, they acting off of, you know, off of some type of physical imbalance. Like something happened in their life to cause them to think about you and communicating with you. But we don't talk. And then they start thinking about whatever the fuck happened in the house or between you. Like the emotions that was never spoke about. Like there was no closure. Um. <clears throat> All right. So let's go ahead and let's clarify this. Um. I feel like you and this person bumped heads over some kind of situation. Maybe it had to do with lack of communication. Maybe this person was juggling you and another person um, or a situation. Like it could be work and love, right? We have judgment here. So, yeah, somebody's definitely... Um, Getting some kind of wake up call, like some type of judgment. Two of swords, we have it twice. Okay. So, <clears throat> I feel like somebody acted out of insecurity and they made a choice based off of their insecurity. Um, oh, wow. What is that? Why I did that? Oh, two of cups in reverse, an imbalance. Yeah. So maybe this person chose to work on their goals, their finances, and they didn't really put much into this connection. But the good thing with the seven of cups in reverse, and I wasn't even going to take reversals, but this is... The two of cups, you know, is pretty, pretty um, deep because this is about partnership, right? The two of cups in reverse could be about somebody working on themselves and choosing, or they could be selfish, you know, or they were like taking their time. Wow. <laughs> they were taking their time. It's this is someone who takes their time when it comes to, like, giving into a connection. The Seven of Cups is, you know, seeing the truth. Like, there's no, there's no illusion, right? <clears throat> they didn't make a choice. They didn't make a choice. Um, the two of cups in reverse is like someone who's selfish or someone who's loving on themselves, like putting their self first. And when you have the two of cups, this is not like the seven of cups, right? This is not like, this is not like, oh, I have this option. I have that option, right? The two of cups is, you know, this is my soulmate. This is my partner. This is someone that... You know, that gets me. But with the Seven of Cups here, this is someone who questions whether or not this is their partner. So it came in a reverse, which means that there's no question. It's like, you know, right? You know that this person is your Two of Cups, but... Y'all not speaking. And this person is ready to come in and say something, but they're taking their time to, to do it. Okay? And so this tower happens in their finances with the two of pentacles. 
<clears throat> okay. So, clarify the tower. Mm, you got. I'm not gonna take reversals. You got the six of wands. So they could have been waiting for like some kind of opportunity, waiting on some kind of victory in their finances, waiting on some type of balance. Okay, something they was working on. Um, Empress energy, some kind of project, uh, abundance. Okay. So it looks like it, it's two of pentacles, please. Clarify. <clears throat> so with the two of pentacles, we, oh, wow. Okay. We have the three of swords and the seven of wands. Um, this is someone who's protecting their heart. Somebody feels like they're under attack. Emotionally, like you blocked them and this is killing them. Okay, that's a side note. <laughs> right? That's a side note. Uh, Knight of Wands is passionate, you know, thinking about you sexually. This is killing them, right? And they're, they're, they're ready to act on em emotion. Somebody's acting. They feel like you're acting on emotion. Uh, what? What are we talking about, Scott? What? Clarify the two of pentacles. Juggling. So somebody juggling what? Mm, you see him? He got two, two of planets. The sun and the moon. Emotions. Actions. Right? Two planets that he's juggling. His emotions and his actions. And with temperance being here, this is about having patience. This is about two people or two situations or two energies that are, are being juggled back and forth, right? So with the two of pentacles and this tower, the tower is from the universe. The tower is something that is meant to happen, right? A shocking event between two soulmates. <clears throat> okay it's being juggled like there's a risk or something because you have the fool here right so waiting on victory waiting for like <sighs> who's so what I'm picking up is that somebody is waiting for this new beginning right waiting for things to actually happen like waiting for a reward like to be recognized waiting to be recognized okay spirit so somebody's waiting for some like new beginning to be recognized and with the temperance and the tower card those are two major arcanas right that's spirit that is the universe planetary alignments so two it's like some type of, I'm picking up the uh, eclipse, like something that brings in a, it's like some crazy shit and then a new beginning, right? Like, oh my God, like some sudden changes, you know? Something that doesn't happen often um, happens. And it causes like these planetary alignments within you guys' birth chart um, that you both are connected to some type of destiny, right? Something that spontaneously happens only at a certain time every century is what I'm hearing. And then... It's causing some type of chaos. It's causing some type of, with this tower card, it's like whatever this person or whoever was protecting their disappointments or like It's, it's like somebody is being 
asked, yeah, look, the two of cups. It's like some type of, like somebody has to like go against what they believe because it's not true and heal something. And it's painful because why I say it's painful is because you see all these stitches, like they they were trying to keep it together by banding, band-aiding something. And spirit is like, you you gonna have to you gonna have to do this. You're gonna have to heal this. And it's hurting them because it is requiring them to go within. And the more they think about and meditate on the, the fuck shit that they did by not being honest by protecting themselves because they was they believe so much. I don't know if like they believe so much that you and them were not soulmates. Um, that now that they know the truth, now that they realize that that you are, they want to come in and, and and call and let it be known. Yeah, look, they didn't know, they didn't have that awakening. And now that they do, it's like, oh, no, I got to fix this, right? I got to fix this. And they're taking their time to do so because this person is still, like, not confident in, in how things are going. Like, this is the Queen of Cups, which is all about, you know, nurturing, right? Nurturing something that was very painful and stressful, Right to go through this process of loving on yourself, surrendering to the end, surrendering to, you know, feeling stuck. Like the Ten of Wands is about stress and realizing that you know, carrying some kind of baggage, emotional baggage, right? with the Queen of Cups. And the Queen of Cups is balanced. So it's like healing something that this person knows that, you know, is deeper than this relationship or this connection is deeper than what they saw before. And it's got them stuck because now they're starting to get it. And it's like they're trying to figure out, you know, how can I heal this with the Four of Swords, right? How how can I heal this? Oh, you heal it by working on your shit first, you know? And that, that blockage, that five of wands energy is here again, right? So the five of wands is with the four of swords. The four of swords is about reflecting, praying, right? Praying, praying about, you know, the struggle. Praying about their ego. Praying about this conflict, them being difficult and now they're ready to surrender to this transformation right they're ready to 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 let it be known that they realize something okay um i feel like this person was watching you for a minute but they they don't want to watch you no more they want to come in and say something that was a lot um, what is the fool? What is this fool? Somebody needs to balance out, you know, what they did. They need to balance out something. Exactly. Five of Swords in reverse is about admitting to the conflict, admitting, taking responsibility, you know. The fool is willing to do anything, right? The fool is willing to take a chance and try. And the five of swords, with whatever conflict it was, it's like, oh, I get it now, you know. I need I need to communicate why, you know, they're still trying to figure things out. Clarify the five of swords in reverse with the full. That's like an apology in a way. <clears throat> Six of swords, yeah. Moving on. Transform. This, it's like, okay, it's time to go to balance this out it's time to fix the situation it's time for me to realize something right i was wrong i get it now 
but they they mad at me right now <laughs> all the cards oh my god <clears throat> i can't make this up i'm not lying i realize it now see eight of pentacles three of pentacles queen of swords working on this connection i get it now i realize it now and we have the five of swords and the six of swords i'm telling you you know, this Knight of Pentacles is ready to come in and communicate. They are coming in slow, right? And, you know, I don't know why. Is it because they're trying to work on what? Why is this person coming in slow? <clears throat> why is the Knight of Pentacles coming in slow? They know what the, some kind of indecision. That's the two of swords. And that's what I said. They know they're supposed to come in and communicate, but they're, they're not, it's like an emotional block, right? Something that needs, that, you know, needs to take action. They got the information. They know the right thing to do, right? But, but they're stuck. Why is this person stuck? And that's this conflict. Five of Wands, Five of Swords, okay? Um, clarify the conflict, Spirit. I saw the Page of Swords in reverse. Somebody doesn't, they, they haven't, they don't know what to say is what I'm hearing. They know what they see. They know what they feel. They know what they, they know the truth, but they having a hard time saying it. Damn, that's why it was so hard for me to, yeah, this person is definitely wanting to come in and invest um, and create some type of growth. They want to grow it. They want to, I don't know if they're not saying anything because they want to show you better than they can tell you. And that is a Knight of Pentacles, even if they get it in the Queen of Swords, right? It's time for me to take accountability and start working on this. And then you see this person with the Seven of Pentacles working on it, but they're not saying anything. I feel like they want to surprise you. Because that's what the Queen of Wands will do. Yeah, they want to surprise you a wish. They want to surprise you. Mm, this shit now went the whole 360. I was trying to figure out. Yeah, they want to surprise you. They want to come in and balance things out. They do want to tell you. But they want to do it in a, um, a very special way. Okay, Spirit. Five of Wands. Okay, so <sighs> clarify the Five of Wands. Something about the home with this, your feelings. Okay, so attitudes from the past. Okay, so what Spirit is telling me is that if you know this person and you've had dealings with them, Spirit is letting me know that they've done things like this in the past. So it may not do anything. Yeah, Ace of Cups. Right? It may not do anything. This is a home. Clarify the Five of Wands. See? And that's what this Five of Wands is right here too, right? With this card, okay? It says immediately, the way you project yourself, do it on your own. They're having a hard time trying to do it on their own. What are they having a hard time having? Because this is the home, the first house. Hmm. They're having a hard time doing it on their own. And Cancer is home with the Five of Wands. Um, <clears throat> use your intuition. Okay, so this person has to learn how to use their intuition. They have to tap into your energy. They have to do it in a way that you're going to know signs, symbols, and synchronicities. You're going to know without a shadow of a doubt that, that, that this is what's supposed to happen. That's why this person is waiting on, you're waiting on victory. They're waiting on victory. Um somebody's waiting on some type of recognition right eight of wands seven of cups they're trying to figure out how to do it mm-hmm mm-hmm 
how should I come in with this communication? You got the eight of, eight of wands twice, right? How should I express my love? How can I get this person's attention to realize that I'm not just bringing illusions, right? Clarify the seven of cups. Clarify the seven of cups. <laughs> Oh, child. Okay. So they might try to show up at a celebration. If you have a birthday coming up, because I keep uh, picking uh. that up too, or some type of celebration, a family celebration, they might try to do it in a way. They could be reaching out to your family and friends if y'all was, if you know this person and they, you know. I don't know how, but they could be. Um, I have the Five of Pentacles, so a loss. Um, what is this Five of Pentacles? Five of Wands. That's all conflict and a loss. Seven of Swords. Ace, okay, Ace of Swords. Um, they need some fresh ideas. They're at a loss, okay? So that's why they're having a hard time coming in, but they, they're about to get it because we had the Two of Swords, right? We had the Two of Swords, all right? Here it go, right here. They walking into this indecision, something they're not clear. And maybe they, they're trying to get messages to you. They're trying to figure out how to get the message to you, and they're at a loss about how to do it. And Spirit is going to give them an idea an idea okay all right so what what are you doing spirit <laughs> helping this person out okay all right your ancestors all right auntie what are you doing yeah. they're giving him luck some type of luck <laughs> like something that you just don't get they get in some type of the will of fortune is it could be your birthday every year you turn a new year a new cycle begins every year even though you get a year older that's a year more wisdom a year of more experiences right so this could be on your birthday i said it doesn't matter when your birthday is it could be on your birthday clarify the will of fortune they're going to take a chance. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Inspired action. I can't make it up. <laughs> Good luck. And look how it came out. Yep. Somebody's been waiting for their ships to come in. Waiting for the time. Waiting for the moment. What are they waiting for? Who's waiting? Oh my goodness! Somebody eight of cups. I was I felt that in my spirit earlier with the seven of cups. So somebody is waiting for someone to let go. Let go of what? Their boundaries. Yeah, spirit is waiting for you to let your boundaries down. Come out of the house. <laughs> <laughs> For those of you that work from home or you work all the time, yeah, Spirit is waiting for you to come out, go out and have a good time. So you're going to be offered an opportunity or invitation to go somewhere. Mm -hmm. Look at this. Ten of Swords, Ten of Wands, Page of Cups, Knight of Cups. I can't make it up. All right? You, you about to get out of this depression out of this hurt and pain and um i feel like this person is also coming out of depression they're they could be moving they could be moving they could be getting a message or you're going to get a message i'm telling you they don't want to take you out Okay, somebody else could be wanting to take you out for your birthday or it's going to be about you because this is a love offer. This is like an endearment of an uh, offer of let me do something nice for you, right? And it doesn't have to come from this person. It could come from a friend. And that's how you, you know, it's all a setup. 
This is set up for you and this person to have a conversation because you blocked them. And they want to come in and do what spirit is telling them to do. They want to come in and tell you something. They want to be honest. Yeah, I'm telling you, spirit is telling them. Yep, they want to be honest. Look at the bird. Spirit is telling this person, getting all these little ideas. And we saw the ace of swords. I can't make it up, right? It's time for them to take action. Time for them to be an adult and tell you. What are they going to tell you? <clears throat> I love you. You're my soulmate. <laughs> okay, yeah, I love you. You're my soulmate. That's why they said it's the heart. Okay, yeah, Taurus energy, this could be a Taurus, says resources to maintain, right, the practicality of resulting from the product productivity of in Taurus, okay, and then we have your faith, hidden tendencies, that's that seven of swords, large institution, or overwhelming events, that's the heart. And we have your seventh house, which says balance, cooperation. I need your cooperation. Yeah. Spirit is waiting for you to come out. And they are going to set you up. <laughs> okay. Message. I'm trying to figure out this connection. I've never experienced anything like this before. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. All right, sir. What messages are coming through? I can't make this up. We are one. Don't let fear get in the way of this truth, right? This person's afraid of rejection. They're afraid to be honest about what they did. They're afraid to take accountability, but they realize that that's what they need to do. Spirit message. One of us is sad or angry. I can't make this up. And it's creating an energetic match and frequency with the other. Stay conscious, okay, of this. And if possible, try to help us elevate it. So spirit is saying, you know, don't get angry when you run into this person. Or however it happens, right? One plus seven is the number eight. And we have the eight of wands out here twice. So this is the year of the number eight, 2024, okay? And it is about taking action on your connections, your partnerships. Love like ours can change the world, okay? So that's that's the truth, <laughs> That's the truth, okay? You may not agree with it, but it's the truth. I can't make it up. 1111, okay? <laughs> Thank you, spirit. Okay, 1111, all right? So don't be acting crazy when you see 1111. All right, the next solstice or equinox will bring an important shift for us, okay? That's why I was like some type of cycle, okay? So, yeah, look. You are my true love, my heart, and my soul. And that's what they want to come and tell you. And I have another 11. 11. Uh, I'm afraid of this. Really, I'm afraid this relationship is too good to be true. So I pull away in fear. That was the conflict in the home. You thinking y'all on the same path. Y'all have the same... You know, limbo. You have the same um, beliefs. You have the same goal for this connection. And then they they flip it. They switch. They act a fool. They, You know what I'm saying? It's arguments. Juggling. Their emotions. They can't tell you. They're blocking and hiding how they really feel. They don't know why they feel what they feel. <laughs> Just going through it right in front of your face. And you, they got you thinking it's you. And now this person is scared to come in and tell you what you've been waiting to hear, right? They've been hiding the truth, okay? Worried. All these swords, wands, and pentacles, right? 
but they coming. All right, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed this reading. You know what it's about. It's about you and this person and somebody missing you. Five of Wands, Five of Swords, Five of Cups, Five of Pentacles, Five, Five, Five. Okay? And they finally get it. <laughs> Deuces, bye.